To set the PGPC interface using the control panel, click the start button. Select control panel and open set PGPC interface. You can then choose your interface right here. It's more popular to do this from within Somatic Manager, so I'm going to cancel here and take you to Somatic Manager. Open Somatic Manager. Click the Options menu and set PGPC interface at the bottom. Let's first look at communicating with Multipoint Interface or MPI. If you're using a PGPC adapter like this one, then scroll down the list and select PC Adapter MPI. Take a look at the properties. The PG or PC's address is zero. It will try to communicate for 30 seconds before timing out. The transmission rate is 187.5 kilobits per second and the highest station address on this MPI network can be 31. Click OK. If you're connecting to the PLC with a Siemens PG and an RS-485 cable like this one, then you would find the 5611 card for MPI. Click OK. And click OK to the interface change message. Let's see if we're communicating. Click Accessible Nodes. Communication is successful. Let's now look at communicating by Profibus. Select the Options menu again and click PGPC Interface. The 5611 choice would be for a PG connected with an RS-485 cable. Click the Properties button to adjust the PG's address, communication timeout, or transmission rate. Click OK. If you're using a PC adapter, then scroll to find the PC adapter for Profibus. Here you can see two choices for Ethernet cards. One is an 82574L gigabit card, and the other is an 82577LM gigabit card. That's because there are two ports on this PG. I'm going to show you how to tell which one we're connected to. Click the Start button and open the control panel. Open the Network and Sharing Center. Here you can see that Local Area Connection 2 is active. Click this link to see the activity. Now click Change Adapter Settings on the left side. Local Area Connection is 82574L and Local Area Connection 2 is 82577LM. Now we know that the 82577LM is the correct choice. Close the Network Connections window and return to the PGPC interface. Scroll down the list until you find the 82577LM Gigabit card. Here's where you have to be very careful. You'll see that there are three choices. One is for ISO, one is for TCP IP, and the other is for TCP IP Auto. Some devices do not support auto, so TCP IP is usually a safe choice. Click OK. And click OK again. We'll check for communication. We are now communicating by Ethernet. In this video, you have seen how to communicate using MPI and Profibus with both a PC adapter and a PG using an RS-485 cable. You have also seen how to set a TCP IP interface and how to tell what port you are plugged into if you have more than one.